I'm Kate. I'm Alistair. We have had quite a long journey to get where we are today. We were trying for around three years to have a baby and we're told that we couldn't at all fall naturally or with IVF. Originally we were told we wouldn't be able to successfully have IVF together. Um, very fortunately we found a consultant in London at a hospital called Guys who temporarily fixed our problem. Indeed. Um, a, yeah, a great, great operation. Yeah. It's a, a, a wonderful success. Um, and then uh, this, well, IVF London came incredibly highly recommended by who we saw in the in the hospital. So we uh, we came here. We were told that uh, there were three clinics he recommended, and that IVF London were perhaps not the cheapest but the best. So we came here, um, not knowing what we were going to find or, or who we would meet, but. The team welcomed us and made us feel really comfortable on the first day and we just felt completely at home that we trusted them. 100%. So, which is really important because it's, it's so emotional for years trying for a baby every month thinking that you, you, know, you might be pregnant and you're not and then to be sat here was just really surreal, it's something that we never thought we'd be faced with. Um, so we started the process in June or July this year. I'm 16 weeks pregnant now. And um, I can't express how important it is that we fell first time and we know that we're incredibly lucky, but obviously partly the reason that we fell first time is because of, of Al Pesh and Dr. Moses and, and the team here that that helped us and guided us and they gave us all the information that we needed. They were on the phone 24 seven if needed because it's a very emotional time. Um, the injections, how I felt, being quite hormonal, the timings of the injections, and as you're stimulating all of your ovaries to, 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 get, to get collected in the follicles, it's just, it was more and more painful every day, and it was quite an experience, wasn't it? Well, and everyone helped you through. And, and it was an amazing well. team, yeah. yeah. And they were really supportive, and we live around two hours away. Um, so obviously during the process where I was having to inject, I was here every other day to be monitored, so I was doing a, a four hour round journey, but we chose to do that. And it was well worth it. Because it was well worth it and, and we knew that we were in good hands. We had our uh, initial consultation with Moses and one of the nurses here, Deirdre, and um, we're asked all of our history and just questions on, on our journey so far. And um, we didn't actually go and see any of the clinics. We felt completely comfortable after meeting the team here. So we started our, our journey with IVF London. And it is really overwhelming. So I would come on my own uh, because at this point, Alistair wasn't needed. It was all about um, me learning how to do the injections and what times I needed to do them. So Deirdre went through uh, all the information with me. And it is really overwhelming. And I remember sitting there just thinking, God, you know, I, I don't know how to take all this in and I'm not going to remember all this. But um, she did it in really nice steps for me. So it was, you know, you kind of manage it and you know at what part of the journey you're at and then you address stage two when you're there. So it was really easy to, to understand and to follow in the end. And, uh, well, I well, certainly when I was needed, finally. <laughs> <laughs> yes. um, but the, the, the team here are incredibly nice, um, very helpful, all the information that you ever need, uh, anything to both parties. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just a, a nice place to, uh, to be, really. Yeah. They offer a support group, which uh, I think is every Wednesday evening, and, and I was emailed on a regular basis to see if I wanted to come along. but. To be honest, I, I had the support from the team here and I'm really fortunate that we've got a very supportive family and a group of friends and we were actually very honest with our friends and family about what we were going through because it is an emotional time. Um, but IVF London have just offered us everything that we needed, made it a really simple, clear process. There were no false expectations or, you know, it was just very honest and, and very let's take it step by step um, and very comfortable. And um, I knew quite quickly that I was pregnant because I actually got 
um, ovarian hyperstimulation, which I knew was a possibility of this journey for me because I've had polycystic ovaries in the past as well. So um, again, once we knew that I was pregnant and I had this issue with ovarian hyperstimulation, uh, the team brought me in every couple of days to scan me, um, to keep an eye on, on my the fluid around my ovaries, and I was already looking like I was, you know, 16 weeks pregnant, and I was about two weeks. Um, so even once I was pregnant, the team here were, were bringing me in to look after me, and, t and even telling me now, you know, phone us if you need to phone us. We're here to talk you through. Um, so I'm just really, really pleased that we chose IVF London. We've got five embryos frozen. Indeed. So obviously we're going to wait for this one to appear next April and all be well and um, we'll be back. And we'll certainly be back. To go for number two. 100%. Yeah.